Hi everyone, it's Kate Spencer. I'm here with some oracle cards for the month of May 2021 from my Life and Soul Oracle deck. You can get these um, when we do a print run next time. If you go to my website, kate-spencer.com, you'll find a waiting list and you can sign up and get your card deck if you are drawn to. So I shuffled the cards off camera and I've drawn four cards for the month of May 2021 and they are as follows. So here we go. The first one, stand in your power. Whew, I love this card. So the meaning of this card is all about obviously standing in our power, but doing it with love and taking a balanced perspective. So during this month, May is going to be really energetically intense. If you haven't watched the energy forecast, please do. I'll link it below. It's going to be very, very intense. We've got a super moon coming up and we've also got a lunar eclipse and we've got Mercury retrograde as well. So a lot of what I spoke about in the energy forecast was about inner work, was about being grounded and being present and as well about growth, all of which this card is referring to. Spooky, isn't it? So this card is about taking a balanced perspective. If you have an interaction with someone or you have a situation that's feeling a bit difficult, try and step back from that. Try and engage the filter of what's going on with other people. Because this card is asking you to take that higher self and more balanced perspective. Don't allow yourself to just go straight into ego, think you're right and think everyone else is wrong. Because if you can take that balanced perspective and you can look at it from a present moment filter. So what do I mean by that? Well, it's so easy as humans to go into the past. Well, he said that. I can remember three Christmases ago, she said that and they did that. Um, or fast forward in the future. But what if this happens? What if that happens? When actually your power is absolutely in the present moment. Your power to bring resolution, your power to do your own work, and your power to affect situations is in the present. So keep the main thing, the main thing, and that's gonna be super important in a month especially that's really energetically active. Make sure you stay grounded. Make sure that you look at things through your heart and you get a balanced perspective. So whatever that means to you, that's what the universe wants you to know. So that's the first card. The second card, solar plexus chakra so this is all about confidence and it's about self-worth it's about knowing your worth now you can know your worth and you can express that with grace and ease you don't need to be difficult about it we can i feel there's like kind of a quiet confidence coming through with this card and knowing that we are worthy and a lot of the stuff that i spoke about in the energy forecast was about our inner work, some stuff there about our environment as well. And knowing that we are worthy of the good stuff in life, the goodness, the connection, the happiness, the joy, the good experiences is really important. If you've got anything that's in opposition to that, an old pattern that's maybe telling you that you're not worthy, then now is the time to resolve that and sort it out. Although it is going to be a very energetically active month, there's also a theme here of stillness with me, where we have to find pockets of stillness and we have to find pockets of time, even if it's 10 minutes, even if it's getting up a little bit earlier and doing a quick meditation or just being with yourself, that is gonna assist you in doing your own work and help to shift any patterns of unworthiness. So this is the month to work on our worthiness. The third card, the delusion of wealth. I love the illustration on this card. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So this is telling us to make sure what we know the value of in our life, what's really important, what do you know the value of? Now, this could be very pertinent if you have a situation where you might fall out with someone and harm a relationship in order to get an ego win, for example. 
it's telling us that we there's another reference here isn't that to being grounded and to being present and growth but also in the main this is telling us that we need to focus on what is important what is of value in your life don't let your ego push you in a direction of bright shiny objects and making you think that stuff is more important than it is and I think there's a lovely little reminder there isn't there to everything that we've been through there's been so much loss there's been so much trauma there's been so much pain and at times all we wanted to do was see the people that we loved you know we had to share resources communities plugged in more people were more neighborly all of that kind of thing the stuff that was really important came to the surface we were kinder and more tolerant let's not forget that let's not push that to one side in the pursuit of material things is the main message of this card and of course we can have material things and that's perfectly all right and we live in a material world thank you madonna um but it's about not losing sight of what is important because it's when you can really fill your life up with the stuff money can't buy and when you can align with the happiness the love the connection the joy that money can't buy that the flow opens up anyway so i think sometimes as humans we get it the wrong way around so that's that card and the last card ooh, is strength that's a nice powerful card to end on isn't it so it's as a little nod here i always think to base chakra and to being grounded and present and your strength is in the present moment and it's also a little bit like feathers isn't it so it's like the phoenix it's like got that lovely rising up energy and strength there can be great strength in love there's a little heart here um, to remind us of that there's also an infinity symbol that connects us to the universe so this is about again being in your power having courage dibbing dig, dibbing digging deep what is it that you need to be strong for where can you display courage and courage might be quite quiet it might be that you want to start something new it could be that you need to release something it could be that someone's violating your boundaries and you have to have some courage and reassert them but this card is saying you've got it you've got it in spadefuls so when you do need to draw on your strength it is there and you can do so with grace and ease you don't need to be difficult but it is a month of really intense energy your buttons might be pushed you might be triggered in ways that you are expecting or you're not but also know that sometimes strength is about leading the way it's about being in your heart it's about being in your power and in your truth but you can do that in a way that isn't harmful or toxic to other people so I hope that helps. I hope you have the most fantastic month. And yeah, keep in touch with me by leaving a comment and letting me know what you think. Or I'll see you over on Facebook. Please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the bell so you get notifications. And I'll link below the energy forecast that um, I did just before I did the cards for May 2021 as well. So you can see that. Okay, lots of love from me. Goodbye, goodbye.